I remember my uh, first few months on self-improvement. I was consuming, consuming all the self-improvement videos, you know, typical watching one self-improvement video after the other, but not actually taking action, not actually putting down the phone and going to the gym, not actually doing the things that I was watching. And for a while, I thought this was really, really bad. And maybe this is exactly you too. Maybe this is what you are doing right now. Maybe this is something you can relate to. You see, this is consuming content, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. Also, new mic, so quality should be hopefully better. Well, no, not new mic, new mic stand, this thing here. There is a right way and a wrong way to consume content. And this isn't something that a lot of people have like talked about or like some people have, but not many, that there is a right way to consume content and there is a wrong way to consume content, even with self-improvement stuff. And that it, that depends on how you consume it and what content you are consuming. See, one of my favorite things that I integrate into my life is that you are what you eat. Now, so some people might take this like literally like, oh my God, I eat chicken, so I'm a chicken. I eat eggs, so I'm an, I'm an egg, or am I still a chicken? And then, so some people might take this like too literally, I'm a pussy. That's not as bad actually. But uh, you are what you eat doesn't literally mean like you are what you eat. What you eat affects how you feel and what you are like. So if you've got the person who is eating pizza all day, He's probably gonna feel like a sloppy sack of shit compared to the guy who has been cooking his own meals and actually eating proper things such as chicken, rice, broccoli. He's actually been eating proper meals and cooking them himself. He's probably a lot more energized. He probably feels a lot better than the guy who's just eaten pizza. And it's the exact same with consuming. You are what you eat. You are what you consume. You see, People will probably say, and this is what I used to think as well, what's the point in consuming self-improvement videos if you don't take any action afterwards? And yeah, this makes sense. Like if you watch this video and then you do nothing afterwards, then I've not really helped you, have I? But also you are consuming this content. You are watching self-improvement videos, which is better than like 80% of the average who don't. Yeah, you're consuming content, you're not taking any action, but you're still consuming. You're still learning. You're just learning more. So it's not bad. Like, the idea that, oh, I shouldn't even bother to consume self-improvement like videos because I'm not gonna take action afterwards is a kind of stupid way to think because you are what you consume. You're, if you keep consuming and watching self-improvement videos, you're constantly learning about it. And the thing is, when I first was in those couple months of consuming, watching self-improvement and not taking any action for like the first couple months, I didn't realize it, but after I took action, I then noticed that all the stuff I was watching was slowly changing. When I used to watch a bunch of like video games, like reacts on like YouTube, like, like just literally garbage content that wasn't helpful to me in any way whatsoever. It's just stuff to watch whilst I ate my food. Like I noticed all of that stuff started leaving my For You page on YouTube and it started being replaced with Hamza, Andrew Huberman, all these self-improvement YouTubers who were actually helping, like self-improvement like videos, it was replacing all this garbage content, which is still better than the average, even though I wasn't taking any action at the time. It's still better than like 80% of people. And this is helpful because the more you think about something, the more integrated it becomes into your life. If you keep watching self-improvement stuff and you're genuinely invested and interested about the content that you're consuming, eventually you will take action and it will become just a part of your life. The same as it did for me. See, there's like a, there's like a little triangle to how these things work. You got the top where you start is like consuming and then you go down and then it's internal change. And then the last prong of the triangle is behavioral change. That's the cycle. Although it doesn't go back to consuming, you you end up in stopping at behavioral change. So it's not really a it's not really a triangle, it's a bullet point system. You keep consuming stuff and eventually 
when that's the only thing that you're thinking about, it becomes integrated in your life and it you have this internal change where you start thinking about, okay, I actually, maybe I should start a gym. I actually, maybe I should start cooking my meals, having like proper meals. Maybe I shouldn't order that takeout. Maybe I shouldn't eat that junk food, those snacks while I whilst I eat. You start thinking about it, like actually doing it. And then eventually you have the behavioral change where you take action and you start doing it. You see, consuming content isn't bad. It's still learning. It just depends on what content you consume. So if you're there thinking to yourself, oh, I'm consuming self-improvement, but I'm not taking any action. I should just stop. Don't keep, keep learning. Keep learning as much as you can on self-improvement because eventually you will have that internal change. And if you want to start that internal change, you want to take action right now, do it. There's no roundabout, like roundabout way to say, oh, here's the secret to getting out the rut. Here's the secret to taking action. Do it, just do it. Literally right after this video, do it. What have you got to lose? What have you actually got to lose? Why not? Just start doing it. Just pay for that gym membership. Yeah, it'll be 20 quid monthly now and I gotta pay now, but after you'll forget about it. You'll completely forget about that 20 quid. Because in the grand scheme of things, 20 quid in five years is not a lot. It's not a lot. And in the bonus, you start going to the gym. Yeah, you gotta cost a little bit more to eat healthier food, but in the grand scheme of things, you feel better afterwards. So it's worth it. Literally, right after this video, just take action. Just turn off YouTube. Turn off YouTube and literally just go outside for a walk. Even if it's just that, just go outside. Just start. Literally, take action right after this video. And you know, who knows, it might help you out. Anyway, if you're on self-improvement, you got this, man. Just keep going at it. Stay consistent and do the best you can. Love you, bro. Is this too close to me? It's so fluffy. Like, I've got the urge, like, during the middle of a video just to go... <coughs> oh, shit, I think I broke it.